So we're here with Cam Dolan, the uh, lone try scorer for the U.S. today. But you're almost a two try scorer today. Tell me about that first almost try. Um, you know, I just kind of I knew I wasn't going to be able to contest the ball in the air, so I, I you know decided to decided to get on my horse and get get around and kind of you know pick up any clean ball. And you know, the moment I saw him turn and, and pass, I, I you know I, I took off and it hit me in the hands, and you know it was kind of kind of. I guess you could say, uh, you know, try line fever on that one. Um, but, uh, you know, something like that in packed stadium, you know, first time happening. So, you know, the nerves kind of got to me, I guess you could say. Uh, felt like I was in slow motion. Uh, probably looked like I was in slow motion. Uh, granted, the guy who chased me down is, you know, one of the fastest guys in the field. Uh, Kurt Baker, you know, he uh, scored many tries for New Zealand and uh, their sevens team. So, um, you know, credit to him. Uh, you know, but I, you know, I think I made up for it. Our team made up for it. Uh, you know, we got a team try at the end, so I'm, I'm not going to take any credit for that. I just happened to, you know, have the ball at the end. I, you know, one one foot isn't anything, you know, to uh, to harp on. So, I, definitely a team try on that. Uh, proud of the boys. Well, it was a team try, but if you're going to say, you know, to your friends or your parents, like, I did make up for that one. I almost. Uh, got. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess uh, at the end of the day, if anyone's going to try to. <laughs> Try to give me, you know, any any banter for, uh, you know, for not finishing. You know, I guess I guess I could use that as a, you know, as an out. So you've been to Philly before. What's it like coming back, um, like CRC versus an international? Um, you know, it's the crowds. The crowds much more into it this time. You know, CRC. Uh, you know, you have you have fans from from you know, sixteen different sixteen different teams. Um, so you know, you, your your team alone might only take up one section. You know, here here with the whole U.S. team, this is a huge home game for us. You know, we probably had 16,000 USA fans in, in the stands, and uh, you know, they're back. They're backing us 100%. They were super loud, super super loud. Credit to them. We're we're very thankful. Uh, you know, anytime there was a big break, any big tackle, anytime anything big happened, they were they were booming. You could feel the ground shake. You know, there was t tingling from uh, you know fingertips to toes. So it was it was definitely a great feeling, and you know, hopefully we can keep uh, carrying this on. You know, that's that's too, you know. Sold out stadiums in, uh, in a matter of you know five months. So, yeah. well, could you actually hear the Hako when the Maori were doing it? Um, you could hear the very beginning, about halfway through. Uh, I, I, at one point, I actually thought it was over, and I guess they were still going. Uh, the USA fans definitely got into it. Uh, you know, a big, pretty big USA chant there. Uh, you know, and I think uh, I think that that really helped us carry it through the game. You know, they, uh, you know, New Zealand uses that to you know. Uh, build up their own game, adrenaline, everything like that, you know, kind of intimidate the, uh, the opponents. And I think uh, with the crowd behind us, it, it definitely helped us. Great. Thank you so much, Cam. Thank you.